The Great Aussie Bird Count is happening today. The annual Citizen Science Initiative invites people to observe and record birds in their local area. Joining us now is Holly Parsons from BirdLife Australia to explain more. Hi there, Holly. So how does this work? Hi. So all we need people to do is this week carve out 20 minutes find your favorite patch of green it could be the backyard it could be the patch of bush it could be the lake download the aussie bird count app and sit for 20 minutes letting us know all the birds that you see and hear do you need to know what you're counting though polly do you need to know the species of bird you can see or hear look i think most people probably know more birds than they think they do but Absolutely. Not everybody is a massive bird nerd like us at BirdLife Australia. So we've made it easy. In the Aussie Bird Count app, there's actually a bird finder. So you put in a little bit of information about how big the bird was, what sort of features did you see, what sort of colours did you see. Pop that in. That will get, then give you a list of possible birds and you can just look at the photos and tick it off that way. And why is this important to do then? What information does it provide? So this is our 11th year of doing the Aussie bird count and this is helping us build a bit of a census of how birds that live where we live are faring. So by going out and doing this at the same time every year, we're getting an idea of which birds are doing really, really well, which birds in our sort of more urban spaces are not doing so well. And then we can also put that into our bigger um, set of data at BirdLife Australia mm -hmm. to get an overall idea of how birds are faring across the country. And is there a reason why you're doing it now at this particular time of the year? So Bird Week is always the third week in October um, and it stems from an, a National Bird Day that started in the early 1900s. It's also spring. It's a great time to be out seeing birds. You know, everybody's out busy nesting, being very vocal. And so it's a really nice opportunity to celebrate the season um, and get out and see some birds. Are there certain parts of the country that we need more data from, Holly? Look, the Aussie bird count is all about just getting data wherever you are. So we would always encourage you, wherever, you, even if you think you're in the middle of the CBD and you're not going to see much or there's going to be a whole heap of counts coming in, doesn't matter. We want data in from everywhere. Um, and for the most part, this is, of course, around the birds that live where people live. So where we've got lots of active people watching birds is where we're going to get some great data. Mm. Have there been any surprises from previous years? Oh, look, I think what's always really exciting for me is that the sheer number of birds, so I think we, we had some, over 3 million birds counted last year, but also the number of species. So in Australia, we have somewhere, you know, it, it varies around 840-ish bird species. We saw just, just under 600 of those bird species last year in the Aussie bird count. So that's one week in October mm. with a whole heap of, of people keeping an eye out and we're seeing a huge number of birds. Let's put you on the spot, Holly. Do you have a favourite bird? Oh, goodness me. Um, I do love a superb fairy wren, a blue wren. I will say I'm, I'm a bit biased. They're pretty amazing. They are pretty out there. I agree with you. Holly Parsons, thank you. Thanks.